K. Rollins, Automotive Rhythms, you know how we do. All-Star Weekend with Maserati and one. They great show off their skills as they are their luxury of the vehicles. But I got the man of the hour, Cedric the Entertainer, is in the house hosting the event. Cedric, how are you, man? All right, come on down to Scottsdale, Arizona. I can give you a hot sell. I've got Maseratis for sale right now. If you come down right now, they're going like hotcakes, folks. I'm Cedric the Entertainer, and I'm selling you cars. <laughs> you know who that man is. You know who that man is. <laughs> Got out the comedy business. I'm slanging Maseratis. Like, I'm selling them like, like Grand Slams at Denny's. <laughs> So you out here all star man. I know you was inauguration, so you go from the political, you know, to some more entertainment. Um, outside of the movies and all your endeavors, you know, tell us about you know your energy when it comes to hosting events and you know just conveying who you are to the public. I, I think uh, you know it's you know we live in a, a time now where there's all different brands of uh, entertainment out there. You know, I think that mine's a combination of uh, of things that represents the you know the goodness that's in all of us, and at the same time, you know, I'm a kid from the Midwest, so you know, it's very St. Louis is very Midwest, very uh, much about the work ethic, yeah. showing that it is about to get up and doing it no matter what. So, you know, uh, I try to, you know, do that throughout my career yeah. from stand-up comedy to uh, producing, writing, directing. And it's all about doing it, saying yeah. saying that, you know, hey, you know, some some of it you're going to win, some of it ain't going to, you know, but it's consistency and you do, you consistent at anything, you get better at it, you get stronger and next thing you know, you know, people got to, you know, and usually by the time it's delivered, Folks gonna say, "Oh, that was good stuff," you know. <laughs> now, now, outside of the comedy, you know, you got some producer credits, you know, working on the law, you know, things like that. Uh, taking up some more serious topics, um, you know, as a comedian, you know, how do you address like, you know, serious or political views, you know, like Barack winning the presidency, and people not look at you as a comedian? Well, you know, I think that you know. Uh, People have to understand, you always, at, 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 at any case, even though, you know, I'm known as a comedian, you're funny, I think people have to identify you as a man. They got to see who you are as a person and know that, you know, even the things that you deliver have a, a degree of integrity to them. And even when they're funny, they come from a point of view and they have something that uh, resonates deeper inside the, the spirit. So mm -hmm. when you deal with serious issues that's going on in our uh, country with people losing their jobs and, you know, on one level, yeah, you might can write a joke about it, but on another yeah. level, you know, I got uncles, I got cousins, I got people that's not doing this, that, you know, if they not working, then what they doing? Right. They begging me for yeah, money. Exactly. So get them a job. <laughs> I'm with the stimulus package, okay? <laughs> Every day, all day. So you out here hosting now, uh, and one. I mean, you got like, some b-ball skills or something. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, the thing was is until I pulled my hamstring. I'm sorry, hamstring. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, brother, line. We don't know where it's instrument. You know, I tore my ACL. The other end. Okay. Look, no. I, mean, I used to ball a little bit back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, but then I got, you know, I put it on. I'm more West Unsale with mine. They don't even know about West with the big body. Rick Mahorn style, just go out there and act one. Now you look like you're a man of prestige and you 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 like you know respect the finer things in life. You know, you mentioned something about the Maserati. You know, what type of vehicles, you know what I mean, really get your you know your emotions churning? I'm a, I'm a big fan of all, all types of cars. So, I mean, you know, I've been I've had vehicles from you know, uh, you know, what I call that first summer with money. So you know, you start buying <laughs> buying all kinds of stuff. But you know, again, a, a lot of the high end vehicles. I like this new Maseratis. Uh, I like uh, what they've done with their vehicles in general, especially in the past few years. I mean, they've uh, they've uh, been unique with the style, and then and probably mainly their front grille taking on that um, aggressive. Uh, yeah, that very uh, aggressive energy that looks great on the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think that's been really, you know, advantageous for them. And then when you, you know, you kind of put that in the marketplace with uh, um, the Ferraris um, or even the um, Aston Martins. The Kia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Kia Sport. <laughs> the Kia Grand Sport is, come on. I mean, people don't be sleeping. You know what I'm saying? We are in the recession. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might be in a Kia. I mean, Must like, have got your niece one or something. Huh? That's what I told me. You, we can go sky on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, you can go to you go to Ferrari. That's what I'm saying. Now, if I bring the Prius, we can eat at Mr. Child. If I get the Ferrari, we gotta go to Sizzler. You can either look good or you can eat good. One or two. Now, what are you working on lately? I understand you're doing the, the, the new Kings of Comedy with Shaquille. 
uh, well, we're doing the All Star. This new thing we're doing uh, the All Star Comedy Jam uh, this week tonight. We're yeah. gonna shoot that with Shaquille here for All Star Weekend. Uh, me and Sha- uh, Shaquille partnered up, shoot a new DVD to come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys from Hot Comics, Kevin Hart, uh, Chris Spencer, Ari Spears, Tommy Davidson. Um, it's gonna be hot. Me myself hosting. I think I've never forgot a name. Sure, it's gonna be. Great. You think Shaq going to drop a, uh, a mixtape against Amari? <laughs> I think he, you know, I think he's still trying to do it. Shaq always feel like he got at least 16 bars in him. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, after a while, I mean, he, he, but he, I, you got to say, Diesel was, Diesel was. Nah, he was, hell yeah. He was the top uh, NBA rapper. Right, right. Because, I mean, our AI album didn't never come out. Nah, exactly. He shouldn't have never even went in the booth. Shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah, and then I don't know what Amarian did. What he what he even tried to he try to record. I think with the Grand Hustle dudes, the TI guys, but I, I hard like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, with God Godspeed. <laughs> so look, man, we appreciate the love, Cedric. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you have a good time out here for All Star. I'm doing it with automotive rhythms. You know what I mean? It's the rhythm and the rhythm, the rebel, the rebel, the rhythm and the rhyme.